initially what you need to do is have good produce. So a lot of it comes um, in the beginning of the shoot when you go and do your shopping. So what my assistant does for me, she does the shopping and then she'll choose the best ingredients and the top quality ingredients that she can find. A lot of the time what we do is we use a combination of glycerin and water and we spritz the food. Because often what happens is we'll cook it beforehand and it might take up to two to three hours before we actually take the final shot. So the food on the plate can sit there for three hours. Then I heat it with a blow torch. So any fat that has gone white and congealed um, then melts and the food looks fresh. One of the food stylists is to give the food that my client or my customers give me to make look the absolute best. Often people think when I say I'm a food stylist, they think I actually do the, pho the photography. Um, the stylist's job is to, is to plate the food, which means to put it onto a plate. buy with their eyes so visually if something looks appealing they're going to purchase it. It's very obvious when it comes to produce you put apples next to some apples that have gone bad and people are going your customers are going to choose the ones that look the freshest. The same goes for packaging. If McDonald's had to use one of their burgers that were made on the kitchen on their Durotrans which are the light boards or the menu boards um, their sales would drop astronomically. Um, those burgers, for example, I've done quite a few of those shoots, take two, three hours to assemble. And if you think about it back in the kitchen, it takes two to three minutes, if not less. Any image that has a picture of the food on it, be it a cookbook, be it web pages, be it a brochure, be it a billboard, be it food packaging in stores, there is 100% of the time a food stylist behind it. Some of my clients include um, retailers like Woolworths and Pick and Pay. I also do work for Checkers. I also do work for other um, smaller companies like Sea Harvest, um, Woody's Bacon, Nobu Brands. I also do cookbooks. The latest one I've just done is Sarah Graham's book called Britain. Um, I also do web pages for people if they want to do Facebook pages, for example. I do recipe cards, I do menu cards. stylists will get a brief from the client or the agency and in that meeting we'll be told what we need to do in terms of um, sourcing backgrounds and products etc etc. I work very closely with the photographer, I'll attend the shoot on the day. Um, we work generally in a team of three which will be myself, the stylist, the photographer and then the art director. What the art director does is he um, directs the shoot and tells me what I need to do. Um, obviously the rest of the, of the styling of the food is up to me and then the photographer has an important role with, to, in terms of lighting. Lighting is very important when it comes to food. If food hasn't been lit correctly, um, it's going to look flat and dull with no texture. So it's very important that you work both with a good food stylist as well as a good food photographer. Mm -hmm.